Hey guys, Emily from Food Box HQ here. Today we're talking no foods. So, no foods creates gluten free, grain free, GMO free, low glycemic index, low carb foods just for you. So, they'll make things like pancakes, waffles, cookies, all the things that you usually can't have if you're avoiding gluten or carbs or whatever it is, and they make sure that you can try those and still keep your diet. So, let's check out what's in our box. Alrighty. So we open it up, not a lot of packaging, which is kind of nice. So we've got no better donuts, no better waffles, no better muffins. We got a little bit of packaging, no better syrup. Ooh, very good for the waffles. And we've got the no better cookie. I've heard great things about this, very excited to try them. So we'll try a couple things, let you know how they taste. All right, I'm really excited to try all of this. So we're gonna start with the waffle because I just heated it up. So the other thing we're gonna try is this no syrup. So this is supposedly amazing. We've heard a ton about it. It's zero net carbs, five calories per serving, and zero glycemic index, and it's maple syrup. So let's see how it goes. moment of truth. It tastes like a waffle, but it's not a waffle because it doesn't have any gluten or anything in it. It is 18 grams of protein in a waffle, 12 grams of fiber, and only four net carbs in this entire thing. Between your syrup and the waffle, four carbs, that's amazing. All right. I could eat the entire thing, but I gotta try some other stuff too. All right, we're also gonna try the muffins. So the muffins are three grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and only two net carbs. Pretty normal consistency, a little bit spongy. That's always good for a muffin. Ooh, they look like chocolate chip. Wow, again, tastes like a muffin. They kind of remind me of, you know those muffins that you'd get in like a little package? Were they like a little Debbie or something like that? It's kind of like that consistency, pretty good. Now I know we have a chocolate chip donut too. Now chocolate chip is not usually the flavor you think of for a donut. I'm very excited to try this. And now I'm sure you can heat these up. I'm not a big hot donut kind of person, so. That's oh, really good. I was a little worried that the consistency of the donut was gonna be the same as the consistency of the muffin, but it's not. So you can actually tell the difference and that it's not just the same thing baked into a different shape so that it tastes the same. But no, this is pretty good too. 12 grams of protein per donut eight grams of fiber and only six net carbs, which if you're car craving something like this, this is really good. Not for the best part, supposedly. We've got the no better cookie. I've heard a lot about this from a lot of different people. This only has four net carbs. It has 18 grams of protein in this entire cookie. Now that is a big cookie, 12 grams of fiber. There's less than 400 calories in this entire massive cookie. And of those calories, there's really not that many carbs. It's pretty good. It looks like the net carbs, like I said, are about four grams, which is pretty cool for something that big. Now for the taste. I'm gonna make sure I get some chocolate chips in there. That's pretty good. A little bit chewier than a normal cookie. Mm, that's really good. I need to stop or else I'm gonna eat the whole bag. I'm gonna finish what I have and I'll talk to you in a minute. So just some final thoughts on no foods. I really like that, you know, these are some healthier options for if you're craving a donut or you really, really want a cookie, this is a really good option for you, especially if you're trying to keep low carb or trying to keep gluten free. That being said, that doesn't mean that these are necessarily the best things you should be eating. You should eat them every day. These are definitely more of like a good snack that you want to maybe take on a car ride or something because it's going to be better than whatever you're going to find at the gas station. That's for sure. It's low carb high protein, no GMOs, grain free, gluten free. So you're definitely cutting out a lot of the bad stuff. For what it is, it tastes really good. I mean, I don't know if you've had some gluten free stuff before, but sometimes it's pretending to be a waffle, but it's not a waffle. This to me is a waffle. This tastes really, really good. Definitely something I could see myself having every once in a while when I'm craving my egos. They have a ton of other things. It's not just this. So if you want to learn more, click the link below.